lawyer sues Lola's Department of State Services, chief judge for barring journalists during Namdekano's trial. Welcome to the news. And please subscribe to our channel. The plaintiff filed a suit at the Federal High Court in Abuja. The same court, Kano is being prosecuted on charges of treasonable felony and terrorism. The news in detail. A human rights lawyer, Tokwe Temokun, has filed a lawsuit against the Director General of the Department of State Services, DSS, the Inspector General of Police, as well as the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, for their roles in restricting journalists from covering the trial of Nam Kano, the leader of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOP. The plaintiff filed a suit at the Federal High Court in Abuja, the same court, Kano is being prosecuted on charges of treasonable felony and terrorism. The charges, according to the prosecution, arose from kind of separatist agitation for a republic of Biafra constituted by Igbo-dominated southeastern part of Nigeria. According to Premium Times, Temoko cited in a suit which he said was instituted in defense of press freedom, how only a handful of journalists were accredi accredited on July 23rd to cover the July 26th proceedings in Kano's trial, while many unaccredited ones were bad from assessing the courtroom. Since Kano first caused appearance in June after he fled the country in September 2017, the court's management and security operative have been restricting media coverage of the case that attracts local and inter international interest. Tamako noted in a suit that the circular dated July 23, 2021, titled Media Accreditation for Unam de Kano's trial, which allows some selected journalists to enter the court premises and denied others not selected entry amounts to a breach of a right to freedom of expression and the press guaranteed by the Nigerian Constitution and the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. He also argued that the acts of the officers and operators of the SSS and the police of condoning off or barricading the access route to the entrances of the Federal High Court in Abuja on July 26 and allowed journalists whose names were contained in the July 23rd, secular amounts a breach of a right to freedom from discrimination. In a ridiculous repeat of the media restriction, SSS operative complemented by the Nigerian police force and the Nigerian army on Thursday barricaded adjoining streets to the Federal High Court in Abuja, the venue of the trial, turning journalists and lawyers away from the surroundings of the court's premises. And after the suits which were filed on October 18 in a statement on Friday, Tamoku said the indiscriminate harassment and assault of journalists and lawyers was a violation of their constitutionally guaranteed rights. Denying journalists access to the courts is an indictment on any democracy because, in true democracy, press freedom comes first. Tamoku said, The lawyer said it has become necessary to challenge this new regime of repression enjoying judicial support. I have resolved to challenge this circular and have filed an action in the Federal High Court Abuja today in suit number FHC ABJCS 12722021, subjecting the legality of this repressive document to scrutiny, Temoku said. The barrister added that the security agencies had relied on the journalist accreditation circular that was issued by the Federal High Court to molest and threaten journalists and members of the public, including Omoyele Sowori, human rights activists. Temeku implored the court to issue an order of perpetual injection, restraining the defendant or through their representatives, agents or privates, or anybody or anyone acting under the authority of the defendants from giving any or further effect to the secular. Temeku also urged the court to issue an order of perpetual injunction, restraining security operatives of the DSS, and the police from further restricting and or preventing media houses and journalists from entering court premises based on a circular. The Director General of the DSS, the Inspector General of Police, the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court and the Court's Information Officer, who signed the accreditation circular, Kafri and Christova, are listed as respondent. I keep asking... Is Nigeria still practicing democracy? Is Nigeria still being referred to or still is a democratic state or a democratic state? Because issues like this, it says otherwise. 
It says otherwise. How can you restrict access? What could be the reason? And you know, you don't just do that. You should be saying why you are doing that. There are things you do not just do, just because you want to do. Most especially in the democratic states, you are meant to be open in communication. Why are you doing this? It should not even be. What am I even saying? How do people get to know what happened? How do people get to know? People have the right to know. There is freedom of the press. There is freedom of opinion. There is freedom to express opinion. There is freedom of movement. All these are contained in the constitution. Named under the human, civil human rights. And yet, the court now. Oh my goodness. The judiciary arm of government. The oppression that people are getting from the executive. And the legislative. And you run to the judiciary thinking it is going to be fine. Oh no. Oh no. It happens again. This time, you cannot even do it. Who, who do you want to turn to? Who do you want to turn to? The executive harasses you and oppresses you and you run to the judiciary. And this is how you are handled. Your trial is done in secret. Why does this happen? I do not think it has happened anywhere before. People, we are even in attendance. Not one, not two. There was crowd. Everybody who wants to see how this particular issue, both national and international, what, ha what happened? What is really going on? What is really going on? It is seeming that Nigeria has been declared as a dictator, dictatorship, dictatorship state. That the democracy here has run away, has run off. Where do we find this democracy? Because if Nigeria is a democratic state, such things as this will not be happening. You will not be making people to stand under the scorching sun while a trial is going on they're supposed to be in. You wouldn't do that. And you wouldn't do that certainly without explaining why. You don't come after weeks or days and start explaining why you... You explain, you come out and you, you have to even say it in a very calm manner. Be in a democratic system of government for crying out loud. What is going on? You not allowing those who came to witness how it went. Even the press. They now have some parts. What is this, this, this discrimination?